Hello there guys and welcome yet to another video and something or a video that I hope um, is going to help you out with your Hackintosh um, Wi-Fi uh, situation. So before um, I get cracking with this video I just want to take the time to um, uh, send my heart and love to uh, the people of Manchester. Today has been uh, an awful day for um, Manchester uh, after a hor horrendous uh, terror attack um, against innocent children um, and people um, just wanted to go out there basically um, and and enjoy themselves so um, yeah I thought I'd just get that little bit out of the way um, it's been quite an upsetting morning uh, watching all the uh, the news uh, about it and quite a few times I had tears in my eyes um, about the situation and yeah it's, it's just absolutely horrendous so my heart just does uh, go out to uh, all the people in Manchester obviously they're our brothers and sisters and all the families um, that have been affected by this atrocious um, act of terrorism um, yeah so anyway I'm just going to move on to the video so um, here we're looking at a wireless um, uh, an adapter wireless Wi-Fi adapter um, I have had a uh, tons of messages uh, flooding into my inbox um, regarding uh, Wi-Fi problems um, you know um, driver problems and installation problems so I have found a product which I've got right here which is going to literally solve all your problems and um, it looks like Windows needs to do an update without telling me again Windows 10 for you Good job we're talking about Hackintosh, eh? So, anyway, um, I'm going to try and explain to you guys why I feel that this is the best uh, product on the market uh, for Hackintosh and Wi-Fi. And uh, we're going to do a little unboxing, and I'm just going to try and explain to you guys uh, the difference uh, between external and internal without trying to insult your intelligence. But this is obviously PC-based as well, so this will work in any PC, uh, basically running, running Windows 7 um, all the way up to uh, Windows 10. So, before we get to the unboxing, uh, this is a USB adapter, uh, which is plug and play. And if I just bring uh, this one here, uh, this one here is an internal um, USB, uh, uh, sorry, not USB, internal Wi-Fi adapter, should I say. Um, you're going to get a lot more problems in Hackintosh with these than you're going to get this. This is plug and play, so this should work literally straight away because it's there's no drivers needed. It just basically you plug it in, it detects uh, what sort of Wi Fi uh, uh, network you have, um, it pre installs the software itself, and then you're up and running. With this, um, when you uh, install this into your Hackintosh, you have to um, go into multi-beast and try and match up the best drivers for the actual piece of hardware. It's exactly the same with audio. If you have an audio problem, for instance, uh, with your Hackintosh, and you cannot get your audio working, a lot of people go out and they buy uh, something like this, which is a very basic um, standard USB audio device which goes in via USB, don't require no drivers, it's plug and play. You plug your speaker system into it, Hackintosh, you've got audio. So these why, this is why I feel that this is the best solution and it's dirt cheap as well. Um, I will post a link in the description where you can pick this up. Um, why this is gonna be the best solution uh, for your Hackintosh Wi-Fi problems. Now also it is Windows, like I've just said, it is Windows compatible. It's a very quick little Wi-Fi um, adapter. And obviously where it's USB, you can either plug it in the front of your system, the back of your system. If you plug it into USB 3.0, you're gonna get a faster um, uh, uh, read and write, shall I say, um, if that's the way you wanna put it. And it's gonna pick up your signal to Wi-Fi even better. And the data from your hub is gonna transfer uh, to this uh, even quicker. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna put you into a overhead position uh, so we can unbox this together. Um, and you can basically have a quick look. So I'm going to do that in three, two, one. Okay, so we have the box itself, um, as you can see. Um, very basic. Um, it's made by a company called EdUp. Um, 
wireless uh, 11 AC USB adapter um, pretty standard it's got all the specifications um, at the back here uh, for what operating systems it supports and obviously temperatures um, support uh, the hardware version so on and so on so let's just dig right in and open this up so this is 2.4 G and 5.8 G so a quick little um, adapter um, as it is so that's the box I'm just gonna put that to one side and here you've got like a simple uh, quick guide manual uh, which tells you how to connect obviously if you're using this on Windows uh, you may need to install drivers and I'm talking Windows 7 um, Windows 8 and Windows 10 will normally pick this up straight away uh, which is great and if you can't uh, pick it up via Windows they have provided you with a driver's disk as well so I'm just gonna put that to one side we also have uh, a little product book uh, that shows you uh, basically other products that you can get from the company uh, which is great um, but what I like about this what I've just said it is USB um, which makes it instantly accessible for hackers Rosh this is why this is so good so here it is in the back there and uh, we have the antenna there and it's basically simply um, a little Wi-Fi USB connector there so you just simply uh, screw it on I can and basically make sure it's nice and tight plug it into your system and you're away so yeah if you're using a Hackintosh uh, this is a uh, plug and play there is an LED here like a Wi-Fi signal here I don't know if you can just literally see that in focus um, which literally lights up and there it literally tells you the strength um, of your signal as well uh, which is pretty pretty cool so that is it that is the best option if you want to get wi-fi um, on your hackintosh uh, whether it's a uh, standard desktop tower or a laptop um, and you're having trouble uh, doing that um, pick this little gadget up plug it in you're away to go so not only that it's pretty awesome because it's portable you can just literally um, i take my tower uh, when i stay um, or i go to people's houses for a long period of time if I stay with a family member or um, I'm dog sitting um, what I like to do is take my workstation with me um, so um, it's great to be able to just unplug it um, basically uh, take this along with me set my tower up to their to, to, to their monitor or their TV uh, plug this in and my Hackintosh is up and running uh, over their Wi-Fi network so if you have enjoyed this little quick um, unboxing uh, a lightweight and I've just said is always appreciated I hope this uh, helps you solve um, your Wi-Fi problems with your Hackintosh like I've just said I will post the link in the description guys uh, where you can pick this up this is literally cost pounds so it's very very cheap and in the long run it's going to save you a lot of headaches uh, uh, with your Hackintosh so I always sort of recommend if you're building a Hackintosh and you cannot get internal hardware working properly uh, to go USB. Um, if, if, even if you buy um, a Scarlett 202 interface, it's USB uh, driven. So it's literally plug and play. Any Hackintosh will pick it up straight away, which is basically uh, going to save you a lot of headaches uh, in the long run. So as always, guys, thanks for listening. And I'll definitely catch you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.